So, what's happening here? Um, what's happening here? Take it for the Magic: The Gathering player. What you want is you want ramp, which is all of these uh, banana farms, okay. because they give you more money to buy more monkey power. Um, uh, what's also happening is when we get to round 90, they're gonna throw out these um, the balloons that kept killing us. Um, my super monkeys now. Uh, if you give them the Dark Knight, so do three on bottom and two on top. Um, that gives them the ability to uh, hurt those like torpedoes that we that kept killing us earlier. Super monkeys, okay. So if you do three on bottom, you can make it. A, it's called the Dark the Dark Knight, and then two on top, so it gets plasma blast eyes. Um, that'll kill the torpedoes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. You said at round ninety. At round ninety, that's when those torpedoes are gonna come. That normally killed us. Okay. Well, there is no yeah. way I'm gonna get the upgrades in time, so. No, you're fine. That's why I have the three of them of mine up top. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing I think that can kill those torpedoes is the super monkey. Yeah. So. Man. Man, I was doing some I was doing some Marble Blast Ultra Spice challenges. That'll be fun to have those on YouTube. Okay. So how many videos yeah. do you have prepared for the future? Like how far ahead are your uploads? Twenty? I don't know. Damn. Like Well, because here's the thing, I kind of I'm like so it's it's an interesting little cheating thing, sort of. Because I binge record on Sundays with Smalls Noodle. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is I only I record them. I make each video 10 minute increments. Okay. <laughs> so really, it's actually like one giant one to two hour video. So, and then it comes out as like 20 videos. So that's that's the rub. That's the rub? I'm a little disappointed that you're not like, you know, going to church on a Sunday, but you know, <laughs> have fun in hell, sinner. <laughs> Oh man, that's so good. Oh, it's so weird because uh, I'm, you know, I'm one of those like Quakery, spiritual but not religious types, and it's so funny because I I I like I like a lot of Greek Orthodox churches. Yeah. And um, i it's weird because I had a religious upbringing, I think. Because I'm, I'm very informed by it, you know? Yeah. Like, like I remember, like, one time I was in a, I was in a Greek and Roman art classics class in college. Okay. And they showed me these, like, two, like, farmers uh, with, like, you know, wearing, like, caps and holding canes and everything and, and staffs and stuff. And they're like, who do these remind you of? And I'm like, fucking Cain and Abel, duh. And they're like, <laughs> no! <laughs> And they're like, the they're these two Greek girl. people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh it's, it's definitely interesting how much um, Judeo-Christian influences atheism. Because yes. I think back in like the 20, the, the late 2010s, like in 2018, 2019, um, I think Slavoj Žižek commented, he was like, there is, there is a fine line between like, you know, like atheists from different cultures and religions, right? Like, if you're an atheist, you're probably not like a Buddhist atheist. You're probably like a Judeo-Christian atheist. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's about right. That sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> uh. Dude, I'm really impressed that we're almost at round 100. Yeah, well now, yeah, because we, we got the, the b-holes that kept killing us on round 90. The b-holes? Yeah. That, that, that doesn't sound good, man. You know, bees that dig holes underground. <laughs> oh, my bad. I thought you were referring <laughs> to something else. <laughs> oh, <oops. laughs> uh, Damn bee holes. <laughs> right? You darn hornets. <laughs> oh, wow, I put that super close. There, there we go. Okay. okay dude, What's you your were... favorite part about Balloons Tower Defense? Goober switches. I like the monkeys. Yeah. yeah that's about it. <laughs> they're kind of cute, aren't they? Yeah, I, I, uh, they're okay. I mean, like, I don't know, man. It's like it's whatever, you know. 
It's not it's not the best tower defense game I've ever played. It's okay. It's like a two <laughs> out of ten. So this is my first experience with it, but it is really fun for a, especially for a tower to, oh god. Oh, are we about to die? Nice, it was nice knowing you dude. We're, yeah, nice knowing you. <laughs> wow, what a what a horrifying song. Tahi Foxtrot. What even is that? Alright. I don't know, um, dude. I don't like that name. Well, we're gonna go back. And then I'm gonna say I'm gonna say play social. Okay. Create match. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to Oh wait, we can oh wait, we can change the split up. That's right, that's fun. The split um, up? Okay. Yeah, like you can be like Oh, how does this even work? Just a tiny circle in the middle. <laughs> um ooh. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. Um Oh dear lord. Let's see. Let me send this to my to my boy. My boy. Here you go. Here's the invitation. Excitation. Alright, 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 alright. Yo, I want some hot sauce. I'm gonna eat some chips and some hot sauce. Bro, what kind of chips are you eating? Um uh hint of lime. Are you Witu India? You're not Witu I am, India. I am I am Witu, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You like went up ten levels in the past hour. <laughs> <laughs> did, yeah. Yeah, I started at twenty three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I, I, I changed the Whoa. split if you notice. Whoa. Yeah, I, you can change the split. Whoa. I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, and I'm gonna put him there. Yeah, that is that is kinda wiggity whack, dog. So put your boys down. Put your fuzzy boys down. Alright, so what do we got here? I have a spicy shark original habanero. Okay. Um with some chippies. Chippies, okay. Now, what's your experience with hot sauce? I know you say you you don't do it as religiously as I do, but like, you I feel like you and Tyler would do something like that, no? Um, I mean, maybe ten years ago, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> true. I, I'm I'm as bland as they come nowadays. Um, I like Cholula. I think that's what it's called. That kind oh, of Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is like. That's that is barely a hot sauce, but yeah, it's, it's fun really to good. scare people. It's fun to like scare the crap out of hot sauce vendors, because <sighs> okay, wait, <laughs> how are you <laughs> scaring? How are you scaring the crap out of hot sauce vendors? Because now I'm really curious. So I go to flea markets, right? And okay. um, there was this one vendor you start who was on the ground after you try some. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> no, I just, I just like, I one up them, and it's great. Um, because I'm, I'm like weirdly competitive with hot sauce. Um, okay. Okay. So, what happens is I'll go to like a flea market, and yeah. there'll be like a vendor selling like kind of like home style mild hot sauces. Um, I like I went up to this one dude who was selling like, you know, like like he was like, oh, I'm I have mildly habanero salsa, you know, and he's like, I love flavor and heat. I'm all about that flavor and heat, dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I put I put Scorpion Reaper Tabasco on my pasta, and he went like, "Why did you why why did you do that?" <laughs> was he becoming concerned? Yeah, he was like, "Why did why did you do that?" Oh my god! Are I'm like, yeah, okay? because because we, we I guess like my parents got cacio e pepe forever ago, and it's basically just like creamy pepper like noodles. Okay. Um, and I mean I mean cacio black pepper. Pepe. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, and it was like so creamy, but it had no flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's just fucking cream. And so I put in like, I got, I guess I had scorpion Tabasco, and it was like scorpion pepper with pineapple, yeah. um, and like vinegar. And I just, I like doused it all over the cacio e pepe, and I'm like, now we're talking. And people are like, they're like horrified. They're like, why did you just, reap like reaper, like, fucking scorpion reaper? I'm like, yeah. It's okay, fine. well, so now the next, you know, natural evolution of you as a person is when are you going to start making your own hot sauce? And when are you going to start selling it for the public? I have two hot sauce kits in my room that I... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even surprised that you had a response <laughs> to this at this point. <laughs> I have I, two I... hot sauce kits in my room I haven't used yet. It's great. <laughs> it's so good.
good. Uh, if you if you make a hot sauce and you start selling it, I will drive up and purchase it from you. Dude, it's so niche. So what what would your niche be if you started making hot sauce? Like, are you gonna go for the super hot, or are you gonna go for like the the weird flavor, or like what are we doing here? Um, I would want to add a floral hot sauce. Okay. Like something that's like like dandelion scorpion. Would wow. Be pretty cool. Okay. You know, some kind of like florally like it's like lilac and habanero. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. people people try to chase hot sauces with fruit. And I don't get that. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, this is my pineapple, you know, reaper. And I'm like, get that out of there. Get the pineapple out of there. I want the reaper. Like, I want to, I want to, like, a, I want floral spicy instead of, like, fruity spicy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm. I think I've only ever had, like, a handful of, of hot sauces, so... What's, what's that one really generic brand that everybody buys at Walmart? Like Tabasco sauce or whatever? Well, there's Frank's and Crystal, oh, which are like... Frank's, yeah. Yeah, Frank's is one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I'm upset with you that you're enjoying chips right now. I just want you to know that. <laughs> like, I, I'm upset. You, you, can, you can hear the chewing now? Well, I can just like, I can just hear like you, you take a bite and then you formulate a thought and I can just tell that you're enjoying chewing the chips so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over chips. here I'm over here hungry and now I'm yep. angry at you uh, irrationally upset with you oh well here's something to make you even hungrier have I told you I've been getting into um, I've been trying to get into being really really homemade like from the ground up homemade okay. um, and I've I made a uh, cheese recently you made cheese? and I made Old Bay cheese oh my god so Okay, so wait, 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 wait. It's actually wait, a lot you, of fun. You, you had to stop making chicken sausages because they were hurting your stomach, but now you're literally, like, making cheese? Yeah. Bro, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> oh, it's so good. So apparently, cheese is, like, so easy to make. And it's so, cheese is going up in price at grocery stores. Yeah. Um, and it's, like, super, like, not cool, so... Like, you can't go anywhere anymore without spending, like, it's like $4 for, like, the cheapest shredded cheese now. I'm like, <laughs> I, know. I know, dude. Yeah. It sucks. So, what's happening is, turns out you can make cheese. It's so simple. Um, you heat up milk. You heat up over low heat. You don't, like, boil it to death. You uh, low heat, heat up um, whole milk. It has to be whole milk, not 2%. Okay. And then what happens is you pour some kind of acidic, like vinegar or citrus, um, citric acid, um, I've been doing vinegar, um, and what happens is that separates, that starts to actually dissolve and separate the milk into what is called curds and whey, okay. um, and what you do is then you pack the curds together, um, okay, um, so you pack the curds together, and packing in the curds together basically makes homemade cheese, um, like, cheese is basically just milk curds, effectively, All right. um, now that's one way to make it anyway. Of course, there's different ways, but like the, the very simple way is heat up whole milk and then um, add vinegar, uh, makes curds and whey, and then pack the curds, and then you have like a shape of cheese. Um, you can make it a, a sphere. You could make it like um, more of like a plate, uh, round shape. Um, yeah. Um, and then you add spices to it. Yeah. Like, um, I've added old bay, truffle salt. Um, it's uh, it's like super cool that that can just like happen. Um, and uh, recently though, I was making brownies, I made brownies last night. Okay. And it's so funny because like I've got my whole family on this now, like holding me accountable because I told them I said, because I guess like I guess like my parents were like complaining about like how like even now our um, like certain like bills, like certain phone bills and water bills are going up. Um, actually, I don't know if it was a water bill, but it was something. Mm -hmm. Um, but they were just like, man, isn't that awful and i'm like yeah so let's you know make our own stuff all the time um and instead of like you know going out and like spending money all the time um and then like i was in oh shit okay oh shit oh no okay Ooh, we got him. All right. um yeah close call um so so um 
recently, um, I was in the grocery store, and I found these like this pack for four dollars of like yeah. really thick, chewy gourmet bakery brownies, okay. and I'm like, oh man, come on, they're only four dollars though, and like Diana was like, no.